917, welcome back. The September issue of Upstate Parent Magazine. It is hot. I say hot, hot. off the presses so hot. Burn my this hand. first day of September. <laughs> Lindley is with us, and we're going to be talking about this uh, month's issue. How you doing? I'm doing great. How Good are y'all doing? Happy yes. September. I, I know. We, <laughs> Megan is always really excited about what she calls the burrs, the months that have the yeah, burr, the yeah. September, yes. October, November, yes. November. December. We are so, ready for fall. Yes. That's true. So tell us about this issue. You guys always have really great topics that impact parents, and uh, starting <coughs> off with learning styles, which I think are so important. It's so important because every kid learns differently. Exactly. And I, I loved seeing this in this issue. And it also, as a dance instructor, had me thinking about how do my dancers learn in mm -hmm. different ways. Right. And there are four different styles of learning. Um, and kids usually get into their learning style before they even turn five. So it really happens very soon. Of course, there's auditory, which is great for a classroom learner. And then there is visual learning. Yeah. And then there's yeah. also movement. Right. And then there's tactic learning, which is all about creating and hands-on really? and wanting to build things. So it's important for parents to look for those signs of what their kids' learning style might be early, and then really help their teachers to make sure they understand. But that, that as is well. kind of a kind of a extra burden, I guess, to teachers knowing because uh, if a kid doesn't test well, okay, mm -hmm. uh, audibly, <laughs> why would it be held against them? Uh, we've hired enough teachers, and we need more uh, to kind of tailor things to a student. I mean, you shouldn't. Uh, give him a B if he's an A, if you just maybe read it out loud to him. Yes, absolutely. And that's why it's so important. And it's even a lot more work on the teachers now to make sure that they have all of these different things in the classroom mm -hmm. that are needed and that can be supplied for all these different learning styles. And I was always an anxious test taker. And <laughs> yeah. once you figured out, like, I was just always like a little, I would, know, I would know all the information, but the, the test taking situation always made me more anxious, so sure. I put down the wrong answer, and once right. my parents figured that out, I, I was I aced all of them. And we you know? and we put enough pressure on our teachers more yes. than we ever had. Yes. Absolutely, uh, it is football season. Uh, you're a big Clemson fan, <laughs> uh, so in the issue this month, it's all about getting that tailgate ready. It is about getting tailgate ready, and yes, I'm so excited. Um, I cannot wait for football. This is an amazing article, and you actually get to hear some quotes from the coaches, which is really fun, about what's important for them and creating that family atmosphere and environment. And then we hear from one mom who, who tailgates with, I think it was four children, and how to make sure that that doesn't turn into a total disaster. So making sure that you're prepared, that you pace yourself, that yeah. you hydrate and that you check the parking before mm -hmm. you go mm -hmm. and make sure that you know all of those things. And so for some we... people, tailgating is the game. They don't go into the game. Yeah. Tailgating is what they do. Absolutely. <laughs> and with sure. all fashion and all of that going on, yeah. it's important to plan those outfits and Be make sure, sure you're take ready. a nanny and buy the nanny. <laughs> it's a lot easier. I've never been to a Clemson tailgate. That's on my list of things to do. It's you crazy I've lived here this long. I don't and never, know. Maybe I have. never been I'll to have a to Clemson or Carolina tailgate. Talk think, about so. the 100th anniversary of the Shriners Hospital. Yes, this is my favorite article in the issue this month, and it's about a a beautiful young lady named Michaela and she realized at the age of nine that she was having back issues and she's from Tennessee but she travels to Greenville to Shriners Hospital since the age of nine mm -hmm. for her treatments she of course was devastated when she didn't know what the outcome would be if she would be able to dance again or not and Shriners was able to get her back to that point to be able to do awesome. what she loves and she actually had the incredible opportunity to dance with one of my favorites Derek Huff Everybody and knows Derek Huff. Wow. Everybody knows Derek Huff. She said she was excited to be able to teach him some ballet moves, and then he <laughs> taught her some salsa moves. And that will be coming out on Disney platforms very soon. And then the 100th anniversary can actually be celebrated in Greenville on September 25th at 1 p.m. at Shriners Hospital. There will be a lot of fun things, uh, food trucks, kid activities, mm -hmm. and different things We love like Shriners. That. Well, we're so blessed much. to have it in the town. We yes. are. I mean, we we're are. not everywhere. And you Absolutely. guys always feature the Kids Doing Good segment, which is one of our favorites. Yes, and this is an awesome article as well. Um, a student, he is now a freshman at Clemson, started off volunteering with the YMCA due to Spirit Week in high school. He went to Greenville High. And then he started volunteering twice a week at the YMCA ever mm -hmm. since then, just because of that experience with Spirit Week. And he's found his career. He's found his passion now, and he wants to continue doing that and volunteering and being a part of that. And they actually hired him as a counselor. Awesome. So it's just so important. Important to, to realize that just something, you know, like Spirit Week in high school can really transform you and you can find what you want to do with the rest yeah. of your life. Upstate Parent Magazine is already on the racks. 
And of course, now it's half of what the normal price is. Yes, <laughs> it's half of free today. So <laughs> just half, for you. half of zero free. is still <laughs> zero, I guess. Yes, absolutely. And anywhere that parents go, it's available there. I know uh, Swamp Rabbit Cafe, a couple different places around town, they have it. So. Yes. And, and you, you have a digital option as well, upstateparent.com. Absolutely. Thank y'all for having us. Thank of you. Course.